Welcome to day two. So now you know that your job is just to love them. We covered that on day number one, and you're already doing that. So chick, you did your whole job, right? So welcome to day number two. It's called, it doesn't matter what other people think. And yesterday's homework was noticing when do you get embarrassed or self-conscious or you think about how other people judge you as a mom? When is it more about what other people are thinking than the actual you know, connection and correspondence with your kid versus about your insecurity of what other people may think of you and your abilities as a mom. When our kids don't do what we say, we get triggered, right? It's like, ah, you're hurting my pride or you're hurting whatever. So today, think about this. It doesn't matter what other people think because we know for ourselves, if we judge somebody, if we get triggered by somebody, if you can really stand in the space and know that's not about them. It's always about ourselves. So if you acknowledge and take that, take that part in about yourself, that if you get triggered, if you just immediately go to, oh, wonder what that's about. I wonder what that person triggered in me that has nothing to do with that person, but it's either what I hate most about myself or what I most wish I had. So those are the two reasons to get triggered. When you get triggered by somebody else, or when you pass judgment, on somebody else remember this it's not about them and you pass judgment it's always about you so if somebody stands up and speaks a lot you're like oh my god listen to that person again it's because probably because it was for me that you wish you had the guts to stand up and speak or it reminds you of something in you that you don't like it's never ever about the person or this thing we get triggered about it's never about that it's about the thing that it triggers inside of us right so when you know that and you think like that and you behave like that, you can rest assured that what other people think about you or when other people pass judgment, if that should happen, first of all, we don't even know and it's not in our place to go over on their turf and start evaluating if they're judging us because that happens inside their heads and it's like, stay on your own turf. But let's say they do judge you as an awful mom. We know it doesn't exist. That judgment is a judgment of themselves. So just the, as sure as nobody can judge you because they're only a reflection of your own judgment of yourself, the opinion that you feel from them cannot exist unless it also exists in you, right? So if somebody blames you for something you know you, had, you didn't do, you won't even feel that blame. It won't exist in your space, right? So what exists there cannot jump over here and vice versa. So with you know, when knowing that, all right use this fact and this practice in your own passing of judgment and his acknowledgement to just not give a beep about what anybody else thinks right so imagine the power of not caring in the supermarket what other people think imagine that imagine how you're a that kid your kid will not scream if, if it doesn't have an effect they find out exactly what to do because we send out some energy around it. It's all about energy and what we send out, right? So I've said this many times, it's really not about what your kids do or don't do. We'll get into that tomorrow. But just think about, it's the energy that you send out. It's how you manage your own insecurities. And the best way to manage your insecurities is to wrap your head around this fact. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It doesn't even matter if, you, if, you, if you're scared, it's a bad example for your siblings. That doesn't matter. Because when you think, about, think more about what other people think, you're not in connection and in loving connection with your kid. Your kid, no matter the age, will pick up this. It matters more what other people think than it matters about you and me, mom. Right? So think about this. If it was um, teenage siblings, and you, or if you're embarrassed about your teenage kid because they're you know, dressing inappropriate and you get embarrassed, what message are you sending your kids? And even if it's a toddler, what message are you sending your kid? They're testing you, right? You're sending the message that it's okay to judge. If you can talk from a point of protecting them, if you are about, honey, you should think about what you send out into the world. If you come from that place, it's completely different than coming from being embarrassed about how other people may judge you. Even if your kid gets to go to a prison or gets arrested or something, if you have the come from, oh my God, you embarrassed me, then you're telling your kids you don't love them. But if you have the come from about what can I do to help? Why did this happen in the first place? What can I do better? Because you're 100% responsible as a parent. If you have that come from, oh my God, 
What can I do better? How can I love you? What's happening? What's going on with my kids since they get into this situation? You're the king and queen. You're the leader. Everything happens. You're the source, right? So whatever they did, if, if you look at it as a response to something going on in you and you take the fall for it, you can also change it. And I, and I know this it can be tricky. So just remember this. It doesn't matter what other people think. And when you are in the situation and you're responding, come from a place of the first rule, which is your job is just to love them, right? So let's use this extreme example of the kids going to jail, which happens. And this happens to people I think I talk to too. And you may think that they're a bad uh, influence on their siblings or telling the world that people think you're bad parents or all that. If you just love them, and you have that come and they feel that when you pick them up for prison or when you meet them or when you're going to set the boundaries, when you're going to help them, when you're going to connect with them, if they can sense the love that you have and that's your comfort, that you love them, then everything else will have a positive effect. But if you're more insecure about, oh my God, I screwed up as a mother, my kid went to jail, oh my God, I'm such a failure, then you're not coming from that point of connection. So just rule number one, your job is to love them. That is also why it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about you or your kids don't let that trigger it doesn't even matter what your mom or mom-in-law or dad-in-law thinks about them that doesn't matter either and if that brings up insecurities that's an insecurity that already exists in you so when you know heaven's first law is order you love your kids there's nothing to blame yourself for you've done nothing wrong because you love them the only thing we do wrong is to forget about the first law which is to love them and then, we've, oh, it's more important how they look. It's more important that they get to bed on time. It's more important that they finish the dinner. It's more important that they do their chores. No, that's important too. And you will get there. Have faith in you. That will come. But you've got to focus on the first law first. The first, like my mom always said, first things first, right? So just remember that. First things first. And since you've done that, you can do the number two one, which is not care about what anybody else thinks. As long as you love them. And that's it for today. So. With that said, uh, your homework is to share with me when you noticed something was more about what other people may think and what you did to correct it. And so every breakdown, everything, everything that happened, positive or bad, uh, let me know how you were able to manage yourself, your mind, uh, in order to manage your emotions, and how you created that shift where you noticed that it mattered what other people think because it does we're only human right so we can't say it never matters but just notice when it comes up and you apply the second rule it doesn't matter what other people think right share that with me uh, in the group and 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 just be honest and vulnerable that way this works so much faster when you open up and you're honest in a small intimate group that you're part of you be yourself and reach out if you have a breakdown and you see other people sharing wins and you don't it's okay part of the journey and there are no right and wrongs here just come on out and share and remember it doesn't matter what other people think it doesn't matter what we think of you what matters is that you get the help that you need in order to get in connection with your kids again in order to communicate better with them that's all that matters so it doesn't matter what anybody thinks as long as you get the help that you need to be the best version of yourself and have that loving peaceful blissful connection with your kids those precious moments and minutes that we get to have them and have more of them. That's what it's all about. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.